Dear Diary, a fearsome calamity has befallen my kingdom. A great deluge has arrived and drowned the land. Ceaseless rain has poured from the sky, and the waters of the deep have risen up. My castle now sits beneath the waves, with me trapped inside. I have called old Froggy to come and take me to my yacht, where I hope to ride out the storm, and wait for the waters to recede. of my magnificent kingdom have been obliterated. Though it be in deep sadness and pain, through storm and rain, gasping after breath, I will go on. I am Little King John. diary. My heart has lifted. This morning the rain stopped, and the sun came out for the first time, since the start of the deluge. I spent the entire day out on deck, scanning the horizon, searching for land. second day since the rain stopped. This morning, I spotted on the horizon, a sliver of land, standing above the deep waters. I am sailing towards it now. I can only hope that it will be a suitable place to begin building a new kingdom.
I will arrive there tomorrow and assess the situation. Dear Diary, I located the sliver of land, a tiny patch of red earth standing on the waters, and it appears someone is there, standing on the sliver of land. Greetings, I am Little King John. Little King John, why are your cheeks emaciated, your expression desolate? Why is your heart so wretched, your features so haggard? Why is there such sadness deep within you? Why do you look like one who has been traveling a long distance, so that water and salt have seared your face? My once great kingdom has been obliterated by the great deluge. My proud castle and my industrious factories, all gone. My rail systems and my manicured parks, all gone. All I have left is my yacht and its provisions. I search now for a new land on which to build a new kingdom. What a tragic tale. I will join you in your search for a new land. And together, we will create your new kingdom. Diary. The storms keep coming with no sign of land. My new companion has now been aboard for many moons. He said that I can call him Sneezy. Sometimes the tossing and turning of my yacht on the deep waters makes him seasick. We sit out on deck and sing sea shanties. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Little King John searching for land. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Little King John searching for land. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Little King John searching for land. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Little King John searching for land. Dear Diary, I am trying not to lose hope, but there is still no sign of land. I have lost count of how many days and nights I have been adrift on the waters of the Great Deep. Tonight, I picked up some survivors of the deluge who were floating on the murky waters. They looked like they were in pretty bad shape. I let them come aboard. Oh. Uh -huh.
perhaps it is because of my long confinement, and this terrifying predicament, but today I had a vision. A vision of a glorious new land, fresh and clean and beautiful. I sense that this is to be the heart of my new kingdom. This vision brings me hope that there may be a future for little King John. more mighty, and will go on a distant journey. I will face fighting such as I have never known. I will set out on a road I have never traveled. Snoozy, I have been practicing for this moment. Get on my back, and I will take us over the water. It is time that you experience the magic of Little King John.
talking John. This is Sneezy. I hereby claim this land for me. This is now mine, you see. After months on the waters, this is the first real land that I have found. This is where I begin to build a kingdom worthy of my crown. This place and discover its dark secrets. I will excavate underground and raise new land up above the sea. I'll start with an island. An island named after me. Then I'll build a new village with some houses and some trees. Good show, I say. Find singing all around. I couldn't understand a word they said. I think they said. Not now, it's not important. It is time for action, while fortune is in our favor. We must discover for ourselves what yet remains of the entire world. Dear Diary, I have begun settling into this new place, my new home. I have begun work to raise new land above the waters. My new island is expanding, and trees are beginning to grow. In order to jumpstart my rebuilding operations, I have made the painful and difficult decision to dismantle my yacht, and to repurpose its materials. I love my great yacht, which has been my home, and my salvation, through these times of trial. Nevertheless, it is a painful reminder of the world that once was. A world to which I can never return. I will transform its valuable materials and supplies into the buildings and industry of my new kingdom. It is a heartbreaking sacrifice, but a necessary one under these extraordinary circumstances. I have set up the survivors that I rescued in a new business venture. Sneezy and I are their best customers.
but all is not well, in this mysterious land under the waters. Recently, there have been signs of a hostile inhabitant, lurking in the shadows. Survivor that we may 
hands are not from the great stone age. I have no more friends and I have no more family. I'm alone, just my stones and me. I've cracked open I used to travel from planet to planet, dodging the stars, chasing the comets. Now I'm stuck on this watery bond, trying to help this strange thing. Squeezing the juice from deep in the heart of the world and blending it under the sea. That one day I'd be the savior of the entire world. I was once a galactic friend, and now I'm called Sneezy. Who knew that one day I would build this world? The heroes would be so proud of me. I was once. From the galactic in the heart of the world And blending it and cold the sea Sneezy Who knew that one day I would build this world The heroes the entire so world of me difficult times. As a reward, you can be my riding animal, as we take a tour of my new kingdom. I will sing a great anthem in celebration of this historic day. I'm riding through town. There's no one around. I'm wearing my crown and making some sound. I see trees and trees and trees in the streets. Well, oh, trees don't sneeze, the trees will freeze. My war chests are compiling all the stuff that I've been mining. King John is redesigning his whole kingdom. Today, the sun is shining. I'm riding while reclining. King John is redefining silver linings. I'm riding through town. There's no one around. I'm wearing my crown and making some sound. I see trees and trees and trees in the seas. Oh, oh, trees don't sneeze, the trees will freeze. My castle is under water, my yacht is a heap of scrap. But I have the world on tap, I turn up the tap and create a new map. Today is lunch day for my new earth. Come one, come all, and celebrate its birth. Little King John has a brand new kingdom. 
I'm riding through town There's no one around I'm wearing my crown I'm making some sound I see trees I see trees and trees In the seas Oh, whoa Please don't sneeze The breeze will freeze Oh, whoa Please don't sneeze The breeze will freeze I have been keeping an eye on Sneezy. I suspect that he has prior knowledge of this mysterious place. Sometimes when he sneaks away, I follow him. He unwittingly led me to a hidden chamber beneath the ancient artifact, where I made some profound discoveries. I have concluded that I must now re-evaluate the nature of my entire universe. Portraits on the wall. Who are these strange characters? What are they doing here? What is this thing? It is shaped just like a doorway. And what is this strange machine? How do I turn it on? This is a device that I have never seen. Its form suggests the doorway. Perhaps it is powered by this machine. If it's a door, I will open it. If it's a gate, I will step through it. Who knows where I may go? Who knows where I may go? If it's a door, I will open it. If it's a gate, I will step through it. Who knows where I may go? Who knows where I may go? That is the question. Not Fred. Little King John has found the portal. Good work, Dodger. 
I'll pass along this news. Thanks, Fred. Gotta go now. Bye. the game. I knew you would. It took me a while, but I finally found your stone. You mean those? These stones are great. When you are done throwing them, you can eat them. Toothsome stones. Toothsome stones. How did you get here? I walked here. You walked here? I walked here. This is the same world. The same world? What other world is there? Was it a long walk from where I last saw you? Not for me. That was a fun game. I won the game. I won the game. You throw the stones well. And I am easily winded at this high altitude. Who are you? I am Caveman. Who are you? I am Little King John. You are Little King John? I am Little King John. Where is Big King John? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop speaking nonsense. This place was built as a last stand against the Great Deluge. But who could have known to prepare in this way? Who could have known to prepare? Did you make this place? No, I just come here to visit the food court and to smell the plants and flowers. This is a remarkable place. It was built as the last stand against the forces of the waters. The glass walls reach just above the high water mark. How can it be? Who could have known? My heart races when I wonder 
Um, build this wonderful place. A beautiful darkness holding back the waters. Protecting the world from the great deluge. Whoever built this place had knowledge of the flood. Whoever built this place knew about the flood. They were prepared. Somebody was prepared. Civilization that has been sheltered from the waters. There is technology here that I have never seen, style and fashion that I have never known, and evidence of deep habitation all around, inside the earth, beneath the waters. There is a hidden hand behind this haven. All antediluvian animal and plant life has been carefully preserved. My inspection revealed enough stored energy and materials to rebuild the surface of the world. Old Draghi has returned, and he brings visitors. King John, Ribbit. I have brought two friends to meet you. Greetings, friends of Old Draghi. I am Little King John. This is Sneezy. Greetings, Little King John. I am Mr. Big Arms. Nice to meet you, Sneezy. I am very tall friend. We are old friends with Old Draghi. Old Draghi's old friends. How do you know this place? Where we come from, this place is well known. How do you know this place? My once great kingdom was obliterated by the Great Deluge. I was lost on the waters for the longest time. I found Sneezy and we found an ancient artifact. I cracked open the world and built a new kingdom over the waters. I activated the portal under the artifact. I found this place. I fought the caveman and beat him at his own game. And now, I think the same hidden hand who built this place has sent you here to me. Well said. Well said. If I had a kingdom, I'd want to be there right now. I too would like to visit your kingdom. Can you take us there? Yes, I can. And I will. Enjoyed seeing my magnificent new kingdom. 
They were impressed that I survived the destruction of the world, and raised new land above the waters. I noticed, that they seemed unusually interested, in the ancient artifact. I suspect that they have not yet revealed, the true purpose of their arrival. Yet, even after the great disaster that has befallen me, and my triumphant success against overwhelming odds, I think my time of trial is not yet completed. Something big is coming. I can feel it. Dear Diary, Mr. Big Arms and Very Tall Friend have asked me to attend a meeting at the place where I first saw them. They want to talk to me about something they said was very important. I have asked Sneezy to come to this meeting as well. I do not know what to expect, but I have many questions for them and they better have the answers. Thank you for coming, Little King John. You surmised correctly that the one who made this place sent us here to meet with you. I knew it. You have come to steal my things and take my kingdom. No, Little King John. In fact, we have a gift for you. The gift of the truth, as best as we can tell it. The truth about the flood. The truth about the ancient artifact. The truth about your world. And the truth about the nature of reality. Disclosure. 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 Full disclosure. Little King John. The time has come for you to awaken. Are you going to tell me I'm dreaming? I'm not going to fall for that. Please sit down, Little King John. What I have to tell you may not be easy for you to hear. Your world is one amongst many worlds. Your dimension is one amongst many dimensions. Your reality is a function of your own awareness and desires. The destiny of your world is intertwined with the destiny of other worlds and other dimensions. In fact, your world would not exist had it not been for the actions of other entities in other dimensions. Are you telling me that people from other planets are interfering with my world and my kingdom? That is correct, Little King John. And you, without realizing it, are also interfering with them. That sounds preposterous. Tell me more. At this moment, in another dimension, not far from your own, a cosmic battle is raging through the galaxy. Mr. Big Arms and myself are visiting you from that dimension. Ah, uh, I knew you looked like aliens. But how do I know what you see is true? And why should I even believe you? What do you know about the ancient artifact? I know it is extremely old, and may have been on this world since the beginning of time. I know it is situated on the peak of what used to be the highest mountain on this world. I know it contains remnants of an advanced technology now lost. And I know that the portal device is capable of reaching many more places than I have yet discovered. Very impressive, Little King John. But there is much more that you haven't suspected. The ancient artifact was once a great starship. And it had, and still has, an important role in the cosmic battle that we mentioned. It was decided that the best way to counter the destructive forces sweeping through the galaxy would be to redirect and transform these forces into a new creation. At 
the peak of the final conflict, the starship, like a great black hole, attracted the sun of the negative forces. The ship, with the massive electric charge and tow, was sent out of our galaxy to a nearby dimension, your dimension. In your timeline, the starship arrived in the distant past. The massive energies attracted during the final conflict were released. A new layer of reality was created. And your world was formed. Unfortunately for you, and your world, there was a disastrous side effect from the energy transfer. Most of the energy was immediately transformed into the new world. But, the metamorphosis established a temporal energy link. This energy link manifested as water. This water has flowed from the back of the starship since the world began. The final discharge from our cosmic conflict. Stop. Stop. I know there are great mysteries behind the creation of this world. I am willing to consider your fantastic story. But you aliens don't understand what has happened here. My kingdom was obliterated. My world, the world, was erased by the Great Deluge. Everything I have known was taken from me. And you are saying that the Great Flood was caused by the water flowing out of the ancient artifact. Water that was flowing for millions of years, finally covered the world. That is correct. What a stupid plan. Whoever is in charge where you come from is a complete idiot. They sacrificed their starship to create this world. All the while knowing that the mechanism of this world's creation would cause a flood to destroy the world. What a stupid plan. Little King John, if I may interject. You are going to tell me that you knew about all of this the whole time. You are in on this crazy plan. Well, yes, that's true. I know this story. I have my role to play, and I will play it, but you have proven to be a worthy king. I have worked for you, and have been proud of your success. I hope I have earned your trust. Sneezy, I rescued you from the great waters, and guided you to safety. We have traveled together for many moons. You may speak freely. Little King John, it was not my place to speak of these things. I was not allowed to tell you that I am from another planet. I was allowed to assist you with your endeavors, but never allowed to interfere with your plans or influence your decisions. Sneezy, somebody knew this flood was coming. Somebody was prepared and built this underwater haven. It would have been nice if they had warned me and given me time to prepare. We have had millions of years to get ready, and nobody warned me. We have not had millions of years to prepare. The one who made the discovery and built this place only recently became aware of the situation. Who is this person? I want to talk to him. And he wants to talk to you. Knock knock, little King John. You. I should have known it would be you. How dare you show your face here again. Last time you were here, you stole the baby. To add insult to injury, now I find out that you are responsible for the destruction of my world. In the meantime, you built this haven for yourself, and let my kingdom drown beneath the waters of the deep. Well, I've got news for you. This place is now mine. Do you hear me? Mine. Mine. That's okay, little King John. You can have it. I want you to have it. I made it for you. I am truly sorry for what has happened to you and your kingdom. Well, isn't that nice of you? You're sorry. Let me tell you what I think. Your starship is the ancient artifact. 
your starship has been spewing water since the beginning of time. And now, that water has finally covered my world. Your starship did that. You'd better be sorry. Little King John, unless my friends and I are successful, our galaxy will be destroyed, and your world will never have existed. Will you please help me to defeat the big fish boss? Help me to save your world. That is hardly a fair choice. What do you want me to do? Dear Diary, Rat Boy Genius has given me instructions on how to use the portal device to travel to another world. He said that I am to take Sneezy and go meet with one of the leaders of his galaxy. A wise creature named Caterpillar Minister. Who wants to talk with me? I have been very upset with Sneezy since the disclosure. From the moment I met him, he hid a very big and miraculous truth from me. I consider this to be a betrayal of my friendship. I have not yet spoken to him about it. I will confront him during our journey. Why couldn't you tell me? How could you keep the whole thing secret? I thought you were my friend. Sneezy, I feel so hurt and betrayed. You should have told me the truth. Sneezy, how can I trust you now? Little King John, that's not fair. Stop and consider the implications. If I had told you the truth, John, you would have thought I was mad. But I might have believed you. That would have been even worse. John, this is the way it must be. Little King John, that's not fair. Stop and consider the implications. If I had told you the truth, John, you would have thought I was mad. But I might have believed you. That would have been even worse. John, this is the way it must be. You should have told me. I couldn't tell you. You could have given me time to prepare. I would only have interfered with your masterly preparedness. My masterly preparedness? Your masterly preparedness. My masterly preparedness. Well, well, well. How did you? How did you? Yes, indeed. If it isn't Little King John. If it isn't, I'm at the wrong appointment. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Little King John. This is my friend, called Z. Z. Greetings, Caterpillar Minister. Hi, Hat. I have come as instructed. I have so many questions for you. All of this is new to me, you see. I found out only yesterday. Tomorrow. Yesterday will be right now. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure. Let's start with something simple. What is this fantastic place? This is the Minecraft. What is Minecraft? Minecraft is the name of the dimension where you live. I live in Minecraft. Yes indeed, that's right. We all have to live somewhere. Who are the galactic friends? We are a group of entities, creatures, and spirits from everywhere we know about. And we're all friends. Yes indeed, that's right. But I didn't bring you here to talk about business. You didn't? No, of course not. I don't need to tell you what to do. You don't? Do I? Of course not. 
I know what I am to do. You know what you are to do, but do you know what you are? How did we get here? I brought us here. How? With my mind and my imagination. In your dimension, it is quite easy to do. You thought about going here and brought us here? Yes, indeed. That is easy to do. It is easy to do if you know what you are. I am Little King John. Yes, yes, indeed. Goodness me. Dear Diary, my meeting with Caterpillar Minister was very inspiring. Ah, to be on a dry world again. I have been stuck on this watery world for so long. Caterpillar Minister was very nice to me and helped me take my mind off the coming crisis. Boy, I sure am tired. I'm looking forward to a good night's rest. Diary. I have had a lot to think about since my meeting with Caterpillar Minister. He showed me some fantastic magic and implied that I can have the magic too. I have been trying to find it so far without success. In other news, Sneezy has begun making some strange noises which are starting to irritate me. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. Achoo. Sneezy. Achoo. Achoo. Stop making that sound. It is so annoying. Achoo. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. You have never sneezed before. Achoo. Achoo. Stop that. It is just as that boy genius said. His code name is Sneezy. Remember that, and you will know. Little King John, the Sneezes are the sign. 
Very soon, it will be time to activate the connection. We must get back to the portal room and be ready for the event. There is a problem. Achoo, but you are prepared. Of course, I am prepared. It's the great generator from my yacht. It is starting to fill. The only way to keep it running when it shuts down is to give it a powerful whack. I can stay with the generator and hit it when it shuts down. No. You and very tall friend must go through the portal when the connection is made. Otherwise, you won't be able to get home. And Sneezy is not strong enough to jolt the generator into restarting. Achoo, achoo, there must be a way. There is someone who can help. If only I knew how to find him, and bring him in time for the event. Caterpillar Minister showed you it is possible. Achoo, achoo, you must use your mind and your, achoo, imagination. Achoo, achoo. Stop sneezing. If it were that easy, everyone could do it. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Stop that. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Stop that right now. I'm warning you. Find him, little King John. Achoo. Go to the ball court. Achoo, achoo. If you don't stop achoo. that, I'll... Achoo, achoo, I'll... achoo. I'll... achoo. I'll... to you. I don't have time for this. Listen to me, caveman. I have come because I need your help. Really? You need my help? How many of those stones do you have? As many as I want. I extrude them from my hands. I thought so. Listen carefully. I need you to come with me to my great generator. You must keep throwing stones at the generator until I tell you to stop. What's a generator? Does it move very fast? It is a big power machine. It doesn't move at all. That doesn't sound like much fun. I don't care if it is fun. It is the most important game you have ever played. If you win the game, Stop now. The game is over. Did we win the game? I think so. I don't know. Let's go take a look. J. 
John. Little King John, you are here. I was there, Sneezy. I was on the starship. Rad Boy Genius was there. The ship was in trouble. Caveman. Thank you. You won the game. You are a great hero. I was able to do it again. After all this time. To do what again? To save the day. I was the first galactic superhero. A Jew. Well, well, well. How do you do? How do you do? Yes, indeed. Little King John, nicely done. You were the only one who could do it. And you did. That's right. You will be a hero for the ages. Yay for Little King John. What about the starship and Rad Boy Genius? They are in their own time. And you are back in yours. But I want to know if they are safe. Did they make it off the starship? Bravo, Little King John! Your first step towards becoming a galactic friend. That's right. Easy. Things will never be the same. I sure love to make sense. 